Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Bliss, if you're new here, but if not, thank you so much for returning. As you can see from the title of this video, today I am doing a Nasty Gal haul. Um, Nasty Gal VIP delivery is something I got quite recently and I didn't think I'd actually use it that much, but every time I look on their site, I'm surprised by how much I love all of the stuff on there. And I don't know if anyone else has noticed this, but they always have a sale on at the moment i think they've got 50 percent off everything including sale so i just decided to do a bit of a shop there and show you guys what i got um today's format is going to be a little bit different for this video i'm just going to show you what i'm wearing somewhere on the side of the screen um, so i'll just talk you through everything but i've already tried it on so i have I, I usually i show you guys stuff that i actually also don't like but i've decided to just cut that out now because i i just don't i don't see the point in showing you stuff that i wouldn't really purchase so I, it's all stuff that i love in this video and i will be showing you everything on as i'm talking you through it um so yeah if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe i've just hit 100 subscribers i'm so happy honestly i know that's such a like small milestone for some people but for me it was like it was what i was aiming for because i've been able to change my url on youtube it's, it's those big goals you know reach the stars and you'll land on the clouds <laughs> um so yeah thank you so much for watching guys and i'm just gonna get straight into it so the first thing i want to show you is actually what i'm wearing now this is one of my favorite things that i got from nasty gal and i just think it so sums nasty gal up um essentially this is a well you can see what it is it's a brown zebra print shirt i got this in size 12 to make it a little bit more oversized and i just absolutely love it it's sort of satin kind of material which i love i think that makes shirts look a little bit more premium um but some satin shirts and some of the ones i got from nasty gal which i'm not showing you because i didn't like can come out really really shiny and i hate that because i think it looks quite cheap but this one doesn't at all so i just think it's it gives that kind of sort of quite a vintagey vibe it goes quite well with the hat i'm wearing now um and as you can see from the cutaway i would pair this with some maybe some green trousers or white ones as i'm wearing in the cutaway um but i just think it gives you that kind of 70s vibe retro kind of look I'm trying to go a little bit more retro vintage with my style at the moment. Um, still sort of sticking to my normal silhouettes that I like wearing, but I kind of, I'm trying to go a little bit more daring and retro. And I think that's probably because I've been following the Instagram of Florence Given. If anyone doesn't know who she is, she is awesome, check her out. But yeah, she's really inspired me to be a little bit more bold with my fashion sense. So yeah, I really like this shirt. Yeah, and I think it would work really well for work or going on a night out. It can just be paired with so many different things. I think even though it is quite bold, the colours are still quite neutral. So, you know, it will go with a lot of things and you can wear it in a lot of different situations. So I'm definitely keeping this shirt. So the next thing I want to show you is this, speaking of retro, this jumper. It is sort of a Wonder Woman vibe, chevron 70s style jumper. I love this. I think the colours are so cool. I am sure it was super cheap. So as I said, everything was 50% off. I'll link everything down below. But I think this was about £10. It is quite thin jersey material, but I think with jumpers like this, you don't really need to worry because you want them to be quite tightly fitted anyway. Um, but yeah, I just it's got a little turtleneck at the top. And I just think it's so cool. It's the kind of thing you would find in a vintage shop. It's very 70s. I've actually just bought from ASOS, which I'll show in another haul, um, a pair of flares. And I just think this would go so well with a pair of flares or a mini skirt like I'm showing you in the cutaway. Um, but yeah, I just absolutely love this. I'm definitely keeping it. I think it's, it's perfect for autumn, winter. And yeah, it's quite a bold piece. Okay, so next up I have two bodies to show you. The first one is this gorgeous polka dot one. I think this is so pretty and quite minimal, I guess you could call it. It has a square neck, as you can see. And I think just for nights out, this is so lovely. You could wear this with sort of black mum jeans, blue mum jeans. If you got if you live in a city like me and nights out are fairly casual, I think it's just really, really cool. It's quite effortless. The colours are quite similar to the top I'm wearing now, I guess, and I think that means it will go with pretty much anything um and yeah I, I guess i don't really know have too much to say about this other than i absolutely love it i'm definitely keeping it and it's actually good quality i suppose i haven't really mentioned this but nasty gal 
I always put into the category of boohoo and misguided, etc., of maybe not being the best quality, but all I've been so surprised by all of these items. The quality is great considering the price. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep this and wear it on lots of nights out. So next up, my second body. So this is a pink one shoulder body, as you can see. I think this is absolutely so pretty. It's really shimmery. It's actually not cheap shiny though. I think the light is making it look a little bit more shiny than it actually is. Um, I think this again looks really great with mum jeans. Um, I actually also am really trying hard to, as you can see, I'm wearing brown and black. I don't just want to keep wearing black and white all the time. So obviously this is very, very colourful. Um, with blue jeans, I think it, it is a really nice look. Um, I actually kind of stole this. There was a girl at work that came in with like a pink one shoulder body and blue jeans. And I was like, yeah, that is a look girl. So I just kind of stole it from her. The only thing I'm not sure about on this is the line across the middle. So this is actually on the front. It's not on the back. So I don't really understand why they've done that. I don't know if it's because jeans need to go up to here, but it's quite high. I wouldn't really have jeans that high. So yeah, I'm, I'm not... 100% sold on this but I love the colour so I might just try and ignore that and as you'll see in the cutaway you can't really tell you can't see the line too much so I do like it I got this in a size 8 and I just think it's going to work so well for nights out and parties and all of the kind of things you get invited to in the Christmas season so next up I have an autumn classic and I'm so surprised I don't own one of these already but I have a checked blue and green checked mini skirt I mean, these are a vintage classic. I do think, I, I'm sure everyone knows how Nasty Gal started. It's very, it was very much vintage at the beginning and now it's new clothes. I do think they are really trying to stick to their roots with all of the new stuff they're bringing out. It's very vintage inspired. And you can tell with this piece. I think it's really cool. I, I worry sometimes with these sort of checked, pleated, schoolgirl kind of looks that you do look like you're in school uniform but I think this one you could just about get away with it um I really really like this I think it's perfect for work um or in the office you know that kind of vibe I think with black tights and some chunky military style boots and a white top I absolutely love this um I got this actually and I should probably mention this so oh so this one I got in a size 12 I'm normally 8 to 10 but the, I, I got the impression and I'm glad I did size up that the size 8 is going to be a little bit too tight and short and I think it looks a little bit nicer a little bit looser and you can always add a belt at the top so yeah I got this in a size 12 and it's definitely not too big so I would suggest sizing up in this um but yeah as I say I think this will go over a lot of different things and I'm going to wear it around the office in sort of the next few months so the next skirt I'm showing you is a very jazzy item. <laughs> so, I mean, I would say this is something I wouldn't normally buy, but it definitely is. Um, so I got this sequin skirt, how cool. So I think this looks really expensive and I'm sure it was literally like 15 pounds. I just, I've got a sequin skirt already that I actually wear like on my birthday or at Christmas with, I usually wear it with like a t-shirt or a body. Um, so it's quite a plain top but I got this and I just think it's so cool I love how it sort of looks a bit like fire it's quite vintage looking I would definitely sort of style it with like a t-shirt and black tights um, and maybe a belt round it actually as well again in this one I did size up I got a size 12 in this one I think actually this one was a tiny bit too big I probably would say maybe just if you're going to size up just go one size bigger than you are um, because I did find it to be a little bit long I wanted it to be a little bit shorter so I might go back and get a, sh a smaller size but I just absolutely love this I think it's so great it's obviously perfect for Christmas but I don't think it just has to be Christmas when you wear stuff like this if you're going for bottom this brunch with your friends or I'm saying such basic things now aren't I what other stuff can you do I mean I wouldn't wear this to an art gallery so I've only got to say basic things really but yeah I think this is quite even though it's bold it's quite versatile it doesn't just have to be for Christmas um and yeah I think this is my other sequin skirt I actually got from a charity shop and I wear it all the time um well all, not all the time but I've worn it for years I've had it for years so I think this is another piece that I will keep in my wardrobe for a long time Okay, so the last item I'm going to show you is this polka dot midi dress. Um, you can't really, it's really hard to show dresses and jumpsuits when you're just talking about them. Obviously, it's a lot easier to see them on, which I will insert somewhere around here. Um, so yeah, I love this. I think it is very couples sort of style obviously on a much more affordable budget because couples dresses are about 300 pounds but it's got this v-neck at the front and then it looks like stars from far away but they are just normal polka dots 
Um, and then it is a midi style, which I don't normally go for. I don't really think midi suits me very well, but actually I really like this look with a hat like I'm wearing now and military boots. I just think it's really, really cute. It's kind of feminine, but a little bit more mas masculine, edgy, you know, that kind of vibe. Um, and yeah, I just think it's really, really nice. Um, I think you could wear this to the office. I think you could wear it at the weekend to the pub on a Sunday. I think it's a very cute look. Obviously in the winter, you might need to pair it with some black tights or some nude tights. Um, and yeah, I the size I got in this was size eight, so it does fit true to size. It was quite tight, but I do quite like that around the waist because if you're wearing midi and it's loose at the bottom, I think you do need to cinch in a little bit at the waist. Um, and yeah, I think it's just a very pretty look and with a leather jacket. It's that masculine meets feminine vibe, which is really cute. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, I hope you don't mind. Let me know if you like this style of video. Obviously, I think it will. it is a little bit shorter than the other videos I've been doing just because I've been showing the outfits all at once. So please do let me know if you like this or if you don't like it because I'm just testing new things out at the moment. Also, as I said at the beginning, these are just the clothes I'm keeping. There were a few items which I really didn't like. Um, and I just didn't see the point in showing you those. So I hope that's okay with everyone and it didn't offend anyone. Um, I'm sure not many people get to the end of these videos anyway, but thank you so much if you did. Please do subscribe because I watch my subscriber count go up literally like four times a day, so it means a lot to me. And like this video, thumbs up video, you know what I'm trying to say if you liked it. Thank you so much. I'm going to be back with a ASOS slash Topshop haul next. Um, if you like my hauls, I did have a Zara one last week and there'll be more to come. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.